dude, last episode was a big one because we have virtually set up what, what appears to be the sort of plan for the rest of the arc, if all goes according to plan. And there's a lot on the line here. There's a lot of sides to everything here in Whole Cake Island, and it's going down. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. We're going to hop into the reaction of the day. Drop a like on this one if you haven't already, and let's get started because I am so excited. Now, Luffy's wanting to team up if it means victory. He knows what he needs to do for his crew. He's already set up the meeting, bro. <laughs> and we've already seen what the meeting looks like. So it's happening regardless. Northwest of the island. Bro, this is so hype. I hope we get to the, like see the whole meeting today. I mean, it already teased it so hard. You might as well. Oh. Oh, yo. We're already seeing it. I mean, there's only so much that can happen right now. He's the one that shot Bobbin! Oh, shoot! That makes way more sense than freaking Katakuri because he, why would he have shot him? Oh, that makes way more sense. Father? Hitman Gotti? Oh, father, like the godfather. Gotti. Okay, isn't Gotti a mobster? Dude, he knows it's good for business. He's a smart man. They're gonna cut a deal. We'll kill him. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Who is that on the left? <gasps> Wait. Oh, they're making, they're making it. The cake, the wedding cake. Or they're just making food for the wedding. Oh my gosh. Is this the head chef? Gourmet night head chef, Strusen. Bro, the weight on this man's shoulders has to be the weight of a thousand sons. He's like crying while he makes it. <laughs> this is beautiful. Bro, his voice. Moist and fluffy, thin fluffy, moist and fluffy. Dude, what is the process for making the perfect, like, desserts for the wedding? Not a caliber for Big Mom. I swear, Big Mom's probably gotten married several times just to, like, have a wedding cake. I like how it teased that, though. That was so random. And now we're just cutting away. Oh, wait, Eastern Inlet? Oh, Peckums! Oh, probably with the fishmen. <laughs> Oh, that's not even remotely the plan. Oh, Peckham's is gonna be pissed. Oh my, see mommy. Praline. She a mermaid like Sh Shirley? Shirley? Was it Shirley or Shirley? The fortune teller. She kind of looked like her a little bit. I think this is setting up for Peckham's to get away and like kind of intervene. They're overplaying it. Oh no. Peckham's gonna catch on. <laughs> a part of, of Capone's plan. Wait, assassination? Well, I guess they're, yeah, I guess Capone wants to take down Big Mom. They just wanna, like, Luffy and them just wanna save the Vin Smokes. So they have similar interests, but not the exact same common interest. So, but Capone straight up wants to kill Big Mom. That's crazy. Oh, they're here. That was easy. Some stuff in One Piece. I think One Piece just coded me that like it's gonna take like five episodes to get somewhere. And then when they do it in like less than one, it's impressive. That is so cool. I'm ready for this meeting, bro. I'm ready for this meeting. I'm ready to see their fits that they're wearing during this meeting. A slippery one, obviously. I just realized, yeah, Capone did that twice to poor Peckums. Why? And this guy loves Jerma so much, he would want to help them because he would, it would be saving Jerma. Such a Jerma fanboy. Are you beige? <laughs> Did Luffy never meet him at Sabote? What the hell was that? Why is Chopper's hat off? What the fuck? Oh my gosh, he's so smooth on top. He's taking a shower. Why does he look like that? He's so cute. And you don't even like to bathe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hatless Chopper is wrong. You're, you're both very dirty. Well, mostly Luffy. 
Yeah, mostly Luffy. <laughs> oh my, that threw me for a loop, dog. That threw me for a loop. Uh, I'm just glad we know that they get to the point of the meeting. Like nothing goes wrong in between now and then, hopefully. Oh, is that Carrot? Wait, so we've seen Chopper. We've seen Carrot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Capone's child! <laughs> so this is Lola's sister? Yeah, I was gonna say, they look the exact same. Aww. I kinda wish Lola was here, but she'd be in grave danger. Yeah, they look... Oh, they're literally twins, okay. Imagine it cuts to what Lola's up to. That'd be crazy. Like, throw her bark and everything. Yeah, she is never coming back here. Like, why does he have, a, like, a, a five o'clock shadow? Like, a mustache shave. It's a baby. Reviled by all giants in the world? <laughs> There's no giants. Oh, she's a giant, technically. This is why she's so large. <laughs> Karis is like, damn, cool, giants are real. Man, he wanted to marry, look how small Lola was. Loki, the Prince of Alba? What the fuck? But when Lola said no and to turn down that connection to Elba, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro! Oh, <laughs> Lola bodied the chances of her riding the ro Wait, why do, why do the giants hate Big Mom, though? Dang! The Prince of Elba fell in love with Lola. That's crazy! Investing in research to make her own giants. Oh my gosh, Oda! She wouldn't get killed. She'd be tortured for the rest of her life. But why is she disgraced to giants? Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, yo, yo, you one of us, pal. And that's why, okay, she never even thought about it. I mean, that's kind of a cop out, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> She's like, you can kill, you can kill. Yeah, that's actually, her husband wants to kill her mom. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Wait, that was the an insane lore dump out of nowhere. Not really lore dump, but kind of. That is wild. So they said the strongest army in the world is the giants. I guess it makes sense. I feel like we just never really even talked about it. <laughs> Luffy's on, Luffy's sad. His tooth is still cracked. So in One Piece, milk replenishes and revives teeth. Don't tell me it just pops back in, right? This feels like I'm okay, dude. Okay, he's like SpongeBob. I think we've seen that happen with Brooke, though. This is just like a milk commercial. The outfits. Yes, sir. Let's see them. I mean, we already kind of did see a little bit of them. I'm going to miss the overalls, though. Nami rocking those. They got to look like mobsters, man. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Chopper, suit it up. Suit up. This tea party is going to be legend. Wait for. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> I miss him. How did Luffy make that out of like clothes? Uh, I was thinking more. I was thinking more Frankie. Wait, is that like a like a replica suit? No way. I thought Luffy made it out of clothes. Everything! Everything! Where's my credit card? Oh. <laughs> oh, you could drive me like a horse. Oh my gosh. We're so back. We've never been more back. Never been more back. Why is his clock fire tank brand? 
Bro, they even suited them up. Beige and Pez? There's no way their tiny baby is named Pez. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, shoot. The fedora on the straw hat is crazy. Oh, we're making it to the meeting like now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That carrots is all right. Could have done better. Chopper's got like three different color schemes going on. Nah, oh, Luffy's is gas. Yo, Pedro! Yo! The stripes on, yeah, Brooke popped off, uh-huh. Pedro looking bigger, yo! Pedro looking big! Oh my gosh, what a crew, bruh. What a crew. We're here. We're here. Oh, who is on the left? Am I trolling? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. We got a fresh suit on. Is he, wait, is that a different suit? Clothes make the man. Dude, he is such a mob boss. I love it. We're already here. I thought this was gonna be in like 10 episodes. It's already been an hour and a half in one episode. My gosh, have we reached a new to Toei? We made it already. Oh. Meanwhile, back at the castle. I wonder if she's gonna catch on to anything. I don't know. Oh, another? I'm guessing another minister? Unless there is a fourth secret general. I'm sti- Okay, another minister. Who's this one? Nobody needs the doors open. Okay, this is a, this is a silly recurring bit. Well, now, now you broke the door. Oh, he was like melting the ground as he walked? Wait. Oh my gosh. Charlotte, okay, Oven, Minister of Baking. Of course, his name is Oven. Three and a half hours! All right, we here, baby, the meeting! Again, I wanna go back really quick. So it didn't, they didn't say, wait, Mama is reviled. That's how you say that word, right? Reviled by all giants in the world for a reason. So she's gonna say that, okay. And then Loki is the Prince of Elboff. Loki, okay. That's crazy. I'm not saying it's right that Big Mom hates Lola for that reason, but now it makes sense why she does. Oh, shoot, dude. Okay, but why do giants hate Big Mom? Is it because she's like an evil pirate and like giants are kind of nice? 828! We in a real mafia meeting, bro. This is cool. Am I tripping? That's not Caesar, is it? It looks kind of like Caesar. <laughs> No, oh, but this is in his... Caesar's still, like, with Big Mama in jail. And what is his hair? The easiest, but he has firepower with him. He's just trying to intimidate them. Oh, true. It's like a chess game. And he caught him. Then he can threaten to tell them. Oh! Tell him, Brooke! Spit, King! Oh my gosh! Brooke said, fuck you, gang. I like how Jinbei's asking Luffy what he thinks. I, are we just gonna ignore this guy? He's, is Luffy looking at him? Yeah, bro. What, is there some like running joke here? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It is. He screams just like him. Guys, why is he hair here, and why does his hair look like that? I figured he was like under lock and key from Big Mom. Okay, so he couldn't make a drug. He couldn't do it. Research is pointless, even to save his own life. He said, "I give up." Oh. Did they bust him out? How would he get away with doing this? They got in, took him, and left? Watch over you. They agreed without question. Because he's head of security. Oh my gosh! He busted Caesar out! And he has his heart. Okay. But he gave him him out because he's he's firepower. So he, bro just like redid his hair? He, he knows he can use him. This is just like with the straw hats. He knows that they could be good firepower. So he had had to make weapons for him. <laughs> what? 
Dude, Caesar's entire arc has been so all over the place. It's so funny. Ever since Punk Hazard. No way he... He did that so they wouldn't recognize him? <laughs> Gastino. Okay, dude. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Guys! Okay, thank you, Nami. No, that's Castino. Caesar just wants his heart back. Once he gets his heart back, he is dipping to the furthest island to ever exist. <laughs> uh. Dude, his fit kind of goes crazy. The hair kind of works. I'm not going to lie. I think Luffy, before he says yes, is going to like lay it out. Like no one touches my friends, no matter what, and I'll work with you. Or he'll just say yes. There's no in between. <gasps> oh. Yo, he not joking either. Luffy! My God! Oh, good, Jimbe. Good, 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 good. Jimbe, thank you, thank you. My God, Jimbe continues to save the entire show. Actually, Luffy don't know how to deal with a mob boss. What? Let him do it? Wait, why does why does Capone not care? He hit he hit the heart. Let him do it. I figured Capone would have too much of an ego. Oh, he just did that so he could hit the heart. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Capone is so different, but they have a common goal. This is like a more unhinged version of him teaming up with Law. I like how we've teamed up with parts of the worst generation and other parts of the worst generation have teamed up as well. It's so cool. The perfect plan. Dude. I uh, Okay, Capone is not a good guy by any means, but I'm starting to really like his character. Like how much they lean into the whole mob boss thing, but how confident he is in himself. Are people showing up? From the underground for the, uh, the wedding and stuff. Oh. Is that ship has a giant cigar? Oh, that guy has a cigar. Okay. Yo. Oh my gosh. Who are you people? Oh, she's kind of nice looking. She's like all these insane looking characters. It's just like this regular looking woman. Rulers of the underworld. Yo. Yo, I gotta go back. Yeah, he wants to actually kill Big Mom. That's such an undertaking. Yeah, and Brooke stabbed into her. He can, he can, he can attest. In one blow. <laughs> okay, Luffy. That's what I was saying. That was to exaggerate how strong she was. Wasn't even awake to be the moment to kill her. Yeah, actually. Instead of like when she's asleep. Five seconds? Bro, I feel like he's trolling. Like he's tricking them. No, this guy's too big of a fanboy of Jerma to do that. Dude, there's Katakuri! People will block us, yeah. That's why it has to be a one-shot. Tell us the plan, man! Oh, they're using Caesar. That's right. <laughs> He's really sticking with this. Mm. If it's successful. Oh my gosh. He's a baby, Gastino. His gloves still say CC on them. He needs to get them changed out. Gasiko. <laughs> I missed him so much. <laughs> exact same laugh. Yo. One is enough, but I made two. <laughs> Just shoot Big Mom with it? That is insane. Oh my gosh, they're gonna kill Big Mom. 
Bro! How do you even make that sound? Bro's horny over his own plan. Yeah, they just have to get into but oh. No. Okay, at least he's not, you know, naive about it. So what are they supposed to do? Yeah, I was gonna say, Brooke, bring it up. Yeah. I think those are for the generals. They need to get her off full strength. Okay, so that is for Big Mom. They said they only need one. That's right. No one can attack us for five seconds. Weakening. So, what, Luby has to weaken her? One place. Wait, why? <laughs> Yo! My gosh! Dude, the fact that he's so soft around Pez is so cute. Mumsy Wumsy is crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna say she was weakest when she's like mating. <laughs> That's crazy! Bullets, cannons, nothing works. Oh my gosh. Yo, Big Mom flying at you full strength. Oh my gosh. So why should we get a tea party? <laughs> He's been watching. Mother Carmel's picture? Huh? Mother Carmel? Is it like her mom? No one will sit there. Oh. Her mom's name is Carmel? Mama's only weak point. So, well, if you like destroy the picture or something? Wait, how did she get scratched then? Oh, indebted to her, but I don't know. So it might not be her mom. Could be anyone. Disappeared. Ah, a little seed being planted. Oh, no, I see you. Oh, we don't even see the picture. <gasps> I mean, she says mother. I feel like it has to be her mom. They're making it seem more complicated than that, though. Oh. Her guard would be dropped. Oh my gosh. It's almost like hockey. It was let out. She exercised all her conquerors hockey. Oh. And expelled energy. She got a scratch away from the, the table. <gasps> and just scratched her leg. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ah, dude, thank goodness he knew this. My gosh. She has no other weakness. Break the picture in half. She'll go bananas, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She would snap. The five seconds, it locks it down. Oh, yo. And they have three KX launchers, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was gonna say, if they have to cover their ears. They have like headphones? Oh, okay, dude. Symphonia system, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, what about the Vin Smokes? Be trapped. Mm. The whole family, bro. The role of holding them off? Luffy's down. Oh, shoot. Half an hour, I'll take it. All right, we got through half an hour in this one. Yo, that's a crazy plan, though. He's obviously very truly thought this through, so it doesn't seem like he's, like, tricking them or anything. And especially Luffy agreeing to be the bait, he's like, oh, I'll take that. That's very helpful to me. Because then it takes a lot of the spotlight off him. But I'm starting to think, if Sanji is never shot, then the Vinsmokes won't know that Big Mom is trying to betray them, so they would just assume that they're all enemies then and attack with the Big Mom family, no? And that'd, like, ruin the entire thing. Then the Vin Smokes would attack with the Big Mom family, then the Big Mom family would just turn and kill the Vin Smokes still. Like, there's so many sides to this, it's so crazy. And now people from the underworld are showing up. I actually want to go back real quick. And, like, the other general has finally arrived. My gosh, man. It's so hype. 
Okay, let's see this shot. I want to see the shot of all the people from the underground. Because you can't really see them that well. I don't think we know any of them. Yeah, we definitely don't. This guy looks cool. This is just a giant bird, bro. He kind of looked mischievous, too. My gosh, man. This is so exciting. It's really built. This this arc, I feel like, is like two big roller coaster mountains. Sanji running away and coming back, and now the entire plan to go down. My gosh. <laughs> Well, we have the plan set up and I'm guessing that in the next couple It's really gonna start to set up this wedding and that's where it's all gonna go down So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those reactions that being said I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction today and i'll catch you next time. Peace peace We're not gonna watch it because i've been told there are spoilers in this intro But I wanted to sort of listen to it I haven't listened to a One Piece intro in so long because I just skipped them because I'm told they all just have spoilers. I mean, how spoilery is it? Oh, dude, Jammer. Okay. I actually really like that. Because the One Piece intros I've seen, I've been, I've been like, okay. That was nice. Oh, it's still going. Okay. <laughs> well, this is like the emotional part of the intro. Am I good?